Rule 34, maneuvering and warning signals. When, a power -driven when power driven vessels are in sight of one another and meeting or crossing at a distance within a half mile of each other, each vessel underway when maneuvering is authorized or required by these rules shall indicate that maneuver by the following signals on her whistle. One short blast to mean I intend to leave you on my port side. Two short blasts to mean I intend to leave you on my starboard side. And three short blasts to mean I am operating a stern propulsion. Upon hearing the one or two blast signals of the other shall, if in agreement, sound the same whistle signal and take the steps necessary to effect a safe passing. If, however, from any cause, the vessel doubts the safety of the proposed maneuver, she shall sound the danger signal specified in paragraph D of this rule, and each vessel shall take appropriate precautionary action until a safe passing agreement is made. A vessel may supplement whistle signals prescribed in paragraph A of this rule by light signals. The signals shall have the following significance. One flash to mean I intend to leave you on my port side. Two flashes to mean I intend to leave you on my starboard side. Three flashes to mean I am operating a stern propulsion. The duration of each flash shall be about one second and the light used for this signal shall, if fitted, be one all round white or yellow light visible at a minimum range of two miles synchronized with the whistle and shall comply with the provisions of Annex 2 to these rules. And this is the inland side and that was head on. I intend to leave you on my port side. Now we get into overtaking. I intend to leave you on your starboard side. These are inland rules again. When in sight of one another, a power-driven vessel intending to overtake another power-driven vessel shall indicate her intention by the following signals on her whistle. One short blast to mean, I intend to overtake you on your starboard side. Two short blasts to mean, I intend to overtake you on your port side. And a power-driven vessel about to be overtaken shall, if in agreement, sound a similar sound signal. If in doubt, she shall sound the danger signal prescribed in paragraph D. Paragraph D, when vessels in sight of one another are approaching each other from any cause, either vessel fails to understand the intentions or actions of the other, or is in doubt whether sufficient action is being taken by the other to avoid collision, the vessel in doubt shall immediately indicate such doubt by giving at least five short and rapid blasts on the whistle. This signal may be supplemented by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of a channel or a fairway where other vessels may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast. This signal shall be answered with a prolonged blast by any approaching vessel that may be within hearing around the bend or behind the intervening obstruction. If whistles are fitted on a vessel at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, one whistle only shall be used for giving maneuvering and warning signals. When a power-driven vessel is leaving a dock or berth, she shall sound one prolonged blast. A vessel that reaches agreement with another vessel in a head-on crossing or overtaking situation, as for example, by using the radio telephone as prescribed by the Vessel Bridge to Bridge Radio Telephone Act, is not obliged to sound the whistle signals prescribed by this rule, but she may do so. If agreement is not reached, then whistle signals shall be exchanged in a timely manner and shall prevail. So again, we saw, when we break it down, we said, these are maneuvering and warning. Maneuvering and warning signals. And what did we say? We said one short was alter course to starboard. What was two shorts? Alter course to port. <clears throat> alter course to port. And three shorts? Um, going astern. Going astern. We're in reverse. And at least five short and rapid blasts. Danger. Danger. I don't understand your intentions. Danger. I'm questioning 
your intentions. I'm wondering if you are not taking enough action. One prolonged blast. What does that mean? Um, going astern. Mm -hmm. One prolonged uh, blast. I'm sorry. Um, leaving a berth. Good. Or approaching a blind. Good. Leaving, leaving a berth or... Blind curve or... Nearing a bend. Okay, what bend? Nearing a bend with an intervening obstruction. A blind curve, just yeah. like you said. Nearing a bend with an obstruction. Maneuvering and warning signals. And this is simplified because, again, we said... We said... International says action. I'm altering course. Inland says I intend to leave you on my port side. I intend to leave you on your starboard side. Yeah. It's kind of, it gets interesting. So this is just all around. One short, alter course to starboard. Two shorts, alter course to port. Three shorts, I'm operating a stern propulsion. At least five short rapid blasts. Danger. I don't understand your intentions. One prolonged blast. I'm leaving a berth or I'm nearing a bend with an intervening obstruction. Good. Okay. Maneuvering and warning.